Hi, it's Julian Meller, Easy Swing Coach. Today's video is about uh, the subject of coming over the top. So let's first off figure out what over the top is. So when we set up to the golf club and we swing back, there's a natural path that we should all be taking to the top of the backswing. So ideally it's around the body. Now over the top then means is, is this has basically created a, a, a line and then on the way back down the club is coming over the top of the line which delivers a club from what is described as an out to in swing path which is not really good for hitting the golf ball a long way. Very common if you slice the golf ball. So as you slice the golf ball you aim more left, the more you aim left the more you'll come over the top and the more you'll start to slice the golf ball. Then you, then you get it going massively left to right and you aim even further left, which brings you even more over the top and so on and so forth. So uh, coming over the top is not a good thing to be doing. It just delivers the club from, from the wrong path. Um, there's a very famous um, coach out there, or who was out there, unfortunately he's passed away now, a guy called Harvey Pennick, who wrote a book, My Little Red Book, and he wrote something in that that will always remain true for golfers, and he wrote that the outside of the ball should never be entertained. So if I'm stood to the inside of the ball, the golf ball is out there, we never want to be attacking the golf ball from the outside. It's much, much better to strike the ball from the inside. So what I've done here is I've just set up three golf balls. They're on a slight diagonal. So I've got one, this one here is to the outside of the ball and then the centre one and then the other one is going down and across. Now the idea of this little practice drill is to hit through the gap without touching the other golf balls. Now if you're coming over the top you might, you might miss this one, but you could hit the centre one and you probably hit the inside one. Whereas the whole purpose of this little practice drill is to avoid hitting any of the other twos, only the middle one. And this will help you adjust your swing path quite naturally, rather than trying to do something uh, very different in the golf swing. So we're trying to do this really through using your hand and eye coordination rather than this awkward motion that we see so often. So I'm just going to play this shot just so I can show you how it looks. So I'm set up nice and relaxed. So that's my shot flown up there. Now on purpose, I'm just going to bring these a touch closer, on purpose I'm going to play this shot and I'm deliberately going to come what we call from out to in and let's just see what happens to the golf balls. Okay. So that one has taken out the inside golf ball so hopefully you could see that from the top of the back swing the swing was coming very much over this way. I've caught the middle ball but I've also hit the outside ball as well which is not really what I want to be doing so let's just get that back again we'll set these three back up now if you don't if you don't want to use golf balls just put two tee pegs in just put one here one here and swing through the tee pegs but what it's doing is actually giving you some physical feedback um, so often when we're trying to make a change we need feedback so this is going to give you some evidence because it won't tell any lies unfortunately. Um, so let's play this, this one again now in the centre. That one's come out quite nice and I've clearly missed the other two golf balls. So it's a very very simple drill but incredibly effective and something I'd highly recommend you do, especially if you slice the golf ball or you know you've got an issue of coming over the top of the golf ball. And give it a little bit of time, you know, you might not, might not get it right straight away, but just give it a little bit of time, give it some practice, and, uh, and I'm certain that you're going to benefit from attacking the ball much more from the inside and not so much 
from the outside. The outside is not good. Um, hope this has helped and as always if you've got any questions or you want to message me my, my website's juliemellagolfschool.com uh, I've got quite a lot of one and two day courses doing an awful lot of one to one coaching so you'd be more than welcome to, uh, to come along or just drop me a line if you'd like some help. Hope this has helped guys and thanks for watching. Bye.